Hey, it's Tuesday and I'm out on the Willoway Dock. Let's take a look at these beautiful plants. Here we have some uh, Thuja Emerald Greens and 15 gallons. Very nice specimen looking plants. Coming down here, of course you see some of the grasses are cut back, but these are full heavy bodied grasses. Calamagrasses, those are Carl Foresters. Then here we're looking at some blue points. Look at these gorgeous plants, guys. Next up here we're looking at some three gallon Karen Azaleas. Look at the size of those. We have some very nice three gallons in all colors this year. You can see here, nice consistent pull in this order. And then, wow, look at the color. This is a three gallon blue star. Here we're looking at some three gallon uh, grass. These are Cheyenne Sky. And um, these are up there looking great. I mean, this is a fall color. They're beautiful in the landscape and help our, our wildlife for shelter. And coming down here, Look at the size on these three gallon procumbents and Ana. Catching a pallet coming in the dock here. Man, these three gallon cranberry creeks. Look at the shape on that plant. Perfectly shaped and trimmed. Very nice three gallon cranberry creek pyramids. Check out these uh, lavender phenomenals. Nice size there. Fragrance is wonderful. Good value here. Lavender phenomenal. Here we have some of our one gallon. Those are Buxus Green Gems. And then backing off here, pull one of these off the pallet to show you our three gallon Ilex Galabra Densa. So here we're looking at knockout roses. It's time. I mean, the guys have got, uh, got some nice time out of them, if you would. They still have some buds on them. This little bit of warm weather, but we're starting to get cold weather next week. So I got an idea that might shut them down. But nice big heavy plants are still great for landscaping. We got nice availability in all the knockouts. Look at the color of these are Itea Little Henry. And again, Itea is a great plant. You know, this one has nice short stature, wonderful fall colors you see. Spring bloom is amazing. Nice short stature plants. Itea Little Henry in a three gallon. We also have Centlania and many others. So Itea is a good choice for great fall color if you've got a tight space garden. Here we're looking at some three gallon Ilex Fatisolata Berry Poppins. And then over here, I pulled one off the pallet. This is our three gallon Ilex Blue Princess. Nice size there. They're all burying up, looking great. Our hollies are looking wonderful this year. Coming down this order here, we're looking at our five gallon holly. Again, you can see nice value here, good size, fantastic plants. You know, like the knockouts, we got good supply on drifts, you know, that seasonal trim. And uh, you can see here that they've uh, altered those trims to keep them blooming well into the season. You were looking at some uh, blue fescue. And these are in covered houses. You can see here they're can full. Nice blue color to them. Well, here we're looking at our three gallon limelights. I just wanted to show you the size. You know, nice size and value to them. Season's got them shut down. Great landscape plants. Three gallon limelights. I pulled one of these off the pallet to show you. Here we're looking at three gallon Pisces Avi's Little Gem. Look at that beauty. Next to those here we have our three gallon. These are green mountain boxwood. Nice shape to those guys. They trimmed them. Got them all shaped up and ready to go. Here we're looking at three gallon hydrangea bobos. Some folks are getting those plants in, getting them stocked up so they have them on hand for early spring or getting them in for jobs. We still have some nice weather coming. You know, our three distribution centers will be open all winter long, and they're stocking up as well. They'll have plants for you if you need them. We see a lot of these on the dock every week now. They're looking at uh, Mr. Bowling Ball in a three-gallon. And then backing up here, this great fall collar is Little Quick Fire. And again, these are nice-sized plants for three gallons. Hope you finish those jobs. So here we're looking at uh, Double Knockout. Again, nice plants. And uh, again, the cold weather's coming next week, so... You know, they're probably going to get nipped a little bit with the cold weather, but those split trims have done wonders. They still have buds on them this week. And then come over here, we're looking at Coreopsis. There are several varieties of Coreopsis that are in covered houses. So if you need uh, need a little color here, we got them. But a nice full one-gallon Coreopsis available. So here we're looking at Ramna's Fine Line, and, you know, they've already started to defoliate a little bit. Seeing the fall color, and they're starting to defoliate. But, man, look at the size of those. Hard to beat that fall color on Thuja Fire Chief. Here we have our three gallons, and then coming over here, we're looking at three gallon. This is uh, green velvet. Again, we're looking at three gallon Carl Forrester. The guys cut those back. 
Very nicely rooted though, great for landscape jobs. Very popular plant. Again, check out these bobos. Folks are grabbing those. They're going to be a high demand plant for spring, so if you guys want to get them in, got a space in the hoop house, we can get them to you. Just got some of these 25 gallon Betula Cullies, and uh, these are very nice. I mean, look how nicely those uh, stems, trunks, if you would, were trimmed, straight, nice. 25 gallon Cullies. I think you can see the branching on these gorgeous three gallon uh, Myri lilacs. That's a good value in the three. Backing up here, more of the drift roses. And then here I pulled one of these uh, sea green junipers off. Do you believe that's a three gallon? Nice feather and size to this. I'll give you a peek. Here we have some two gallon. These are pink drift. And again, you know, they were bud, bloom, going like crazy. Nice split trims. They still have buds on them. But cold weather's coming next week. But these are great for landscaping. I mean, it's time for them to go dormant. But these are nice sized drift roses. Here we're looking at some candy store flocks. They just finished blooming, man. These things were loaded up until the last week or so. And uh, great size to them, good roots. And we have all the colors on those. Here we're looking at some fire witch coming out of the inside greenhouses. Uh, they're looking good. Pulled one of these off here. These are uh, the five gallon Alex Galeva strong box. Nice size. So here we're looking at Petite Knockout, you know, and this was uh, a newer one out of the Knockout series. It's tight, compact. I mean, you can see this thing pushing buds out like crazy. And it's got much smaller flowers to it, but an abundance of them. You can see how well this block is really starting to shine. And uh, we'll have a lot of these for spring. It's a great option, though, to put in a pot on the patio because it's going to stay nice and small. Petite Knockout. And then these cute little guys are the Petite Knockout tree form. You can see nice little heads here. This is great for a patio. You can put these on a pot, put some annuals and things around them and enjoy them all summer long. And then again, look at the bud set on them. This late in the season, the guys did some split trimming, excuse me, on them. But I think you can see that the plants are still going strong. They're inside. Again, cold's coming, but wow, can you believe it? They're blooming in November. Petite knockout, tree form. So I'd show you these guys here. I had them on one of the other newsletters. This is the new Phenomenal. So this little dwarf fig again is a great patio plant. It's going to stay around 24 inches high and wide and produce great figs right on your patio. Phenomenal. We were looking at another Dianthus. I pulled one off to show you. This is Dianthus Paint the Town Fuchsia. Nice landscape sized plants here. Paint the Town Fuchsia. Damn. Here we're looking at another Coreopsis. This is Coreopsis Goldilocks. And again, these are in a covered house, so uh, protect a little bit from the cold. Still got some bud and bloom. This Coreopsis is Big Bang Daybreak. One of my favorites, and man, very hardy. You can't hardly kill this plant. Very resilient plant, blooms like a machine, goes well into the season. Coreopsis, Big Bang Daybreak. Here's another of the Dianthus Paint to Town series. This is Paint to Town Red. Still looking good. This is one of the newer Dianthus. So this is Dianthus Everbloom Watermelon Ice. And uh, you can see these are gorgeous one gallons though. Again, pretty much done blooming. But um, let me see if I can show you the color on this flower. It's going to be beautiful. So here we're looking at Carrick's Ice Dance. You know, I have these in my own garden, and uh, they're very resilient for grass. Um, very tough plant, great color, good value on these. So that's a quick walk on this side of the deck. We're going to break and take a walk with Kelly and see what she's got to show us this week. There's another really popular landscape plant that we have. This is our Hydrangea Quercus Alice in a three gallon. Here's our first additions, Hydrangea Quercus. This is Jetstream, and as you can see here again, really nice color, great for any landscape. I wanted to show you this house of Cotinus Winecraft Black. This is a proven winner. These things are huge, and they have fantastic color for the fall right now. As you can see here, the guys are kind of getting ready for winter, starting to put things together, but here we have a really nice group of three-gallon Incredibles. 
really nice landscape plant. Still good numbers to bring in for this fall. Here's a really great malice that I don't know if we've talked a lot about this year, but this is the Purple Prince. Here you can see we still have a really great crop of 15 gallons available. Another unique feature to add to a landscape is our Malice Six-Way Espaliers. So here you can see how beautifully these are all branched. I want to stop and show you the color on these Gracilis Dutia Gracilis Nikos. And as you can see behind me there, another crop up behind it that looked just as good. And then I'll show you our PW, one of the PW Dutias we have. This is Yuki Cherry Blossom. Again, really nice fall color, nice crop coming up behind it. Here's a really nice crop of a 15 gallon Betula Jackmani. All pretty even, still showing some good color, still have their leaves, looking good for your landscape. Couldn't drive by this group of Cornus Cusa Chinensis in a five gallon to show you what a great crop we have of those. Still good numbers. Stopped over here to show you our five gallon Wisteria Amethyst Falls tree forms. A little something different for your yard. There's a great crop of our three gallon first edition Heptacodiums. This is the Heptacodium Tianchen. And here you can see we have some really nice numbers and it's a really uniform crop. So not sure how many of you knew that we do 45 gallon trees, but here we have a crop of our 45 gallon Frank's Red. Beautiful, large caliper. Most of them are two and a half or bigger. Really nice group of trees. And not to be outdone by Franks, here we have 45 gallon Jeff's Red, Acer Rubrum, Jeffers Red. Here's a tree with some great fall color. This is your Mata Sequoia Amber Glow in a seven gallon. And then over here, you can see we have the Savalix Albatristus in a seven as well. Nice heads, great fall color. This definitely has some interest. This is your Liquid Amber Warbledson in a 25 gallon. Most of these are generously over two inches if you're looking for something a little bit bigger right now. I showed you some of our other Itia. Here we have our proven winner Itia. This is Itia Little Henry. Look at this beautiful fall color. Still looking really good. As you can see from the palette here, just looks like a little bit of fire right there on the palette for you. We still have lots of perennials going out. Here you can see we have the Perovskia Blue Jean Baby. Here we have some of our bigger product here. This is our seven gallon Isle Extensa. And over here, we have our seven gallon Rhododendron Nova Zembla. I want to show you, wanted to show you this nice crop here. This is our 15 gallon Magnolia Jim Here's the proven winner, three gallon Little Quick Fire. Nice little plant there. And as you can see here, we still have a palette of our two gallon Drift Roses going out with some fantastic color on them. Here's our 15 gallon Acer Blood Good. Um, lost its leaves, but the structure of it is still looking really great. Here's some great color for you. This is a seven gallon Golden Mop Camisiferous. Really big oversized plant. So I showed you these over at Long Road, but let me show you here on the dock. This is the 25 gallon Frank's Red. Look at how tall these are. Look at that, all the way up to the ceiling. These look amazing. There's good stuff leaving the dock today. Hope we're loading a truck for you.